Hi YouTube, this is just a quick look at the latest Linux distro release for Antics version 15 or as they like to call it version MX15, also codenamed Fusion. Now uh, as a bit of a background on Antics, I suppose it's a, a lightweight, easy to install, really easy to install operating system actually and uh, it's designed or is based on Debian stable Jesse 8.2 release. And uh, it's actually it's actually well designed for older hardware. In fact, as they say as well. So getting into it, just a little bit of a look at it. Uh, starting off, we've got the desktop environment, which does look a little bit foreign, a little bit alien. But as it turns out, it is in fact XFCE, just a very unusual version of it. A little bit um, a little bit ugly, to be honest. Uh, I, I don't I don't feel it too much. I'm not really getting into the the uh, the look of it there. Moving on, we have the file manager, which is the Thor or the Thuna file manager. I'll open that up, make sure I've got that right. So about, I call it Thor, it's really Thuna, but there you go, Thuna 1.6.10. So that's okay, a uh, bit of a bare bones sort of thing, works fine, no real issues with that, so that's good to see there. Also, as we may have seen on the screen a little bit earlier, it's running the uh, Linux kernel 3.16. Now, I'm surprised it's not 3.19 or even 4.2, one of the latest ones, but that's okay. You've still got the option to upgrade to the latest Linux kernel if you are running newer hardware on the uh, Antix distro. And uh, so, what else have we got? The architectures. So, you can actually install this on 32 and 64 bit architectures, just in general. They seem to say on their website that Antix is uh, it's really, really good for all sorts of hardware. So, um, it's, yeah, it's bound to work on most machines that you attempt to put it on. Now, regarding a little bit of the software, it's uh, they throw in, of course, a few of the XFCE uh, software bits and pieces here. The uh, Office Suite, as we can see here, is mostly all LibreOffice and uh, some of the internet applications, including you know Transmission and Firefox. But nothing you can't delete or undelete. So that's um, you know or or install, should I say, anyway. So that's pretty much all standard stuff there. Nothing really too much to go on about with there. Uh, so all in all, the the typical usage or design for this release is mostly desktop. Of course, you can uh, put a server on it if you want, or do whatever you want with any services. But uh, that's pretty much what it's there for. Also, the update method for installing things will most likely be apt or aptitude, which is, of course, as you might guess, pretty much the same as Debian or Ubuntu, that kind of thing. So overall, it's a pretty steady release. It's um, it's it's no doubt a popular distro. It's, I think it's like in the top 20 or something like that. Uh, so maybe top 20 downloaded ones. But um, it it's not really to my liking the graphical user interface, the desktop environment in particular. The the file manager is okay, but this is just I don't know. It leaves a little bit to be desired. It does have a HUD, which is good to see. So we'll see if we've got uh, anything there. Yep, GIMP, that kind of thing. But um, yeah, it's. It's just not for me, the front end. If it's for you guys, that's cool. But uh, they also say on the website for Antics that you can run it on much older hardware, but at the same time, it's got the latest cutting edge software. So they're really trying to get all ends of the market by saying things like that. But all in all, yeah, throw it on an old computer. Do what you want with it. But uh, that's about it, guys. Cheers. Hope you've enjoyed.